Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Dwahid once again with another important topic. What is umbrella research? What is an umbrella research? Umbrella research is actually a terminology that is used in the research world for certain kinds of review articles. Yes, as we discussed before, that there are different kinds of study designs. There are different kinds of research studies. Animal studies, in vitro studies, case control, cohort, clinical trials, right? I hope you remember all the designs that I have discussed previously. So those study designs are the studies, right? And systematic reviews and meta-analyses are on the top of the pyramid of study design pyramid, and they are considered as the strongest research evidence, right? I have discussed that before in my previous videos. So those are the study designs. So what is an umbrella research? Umbrella research is another design that is not shown in the study design pyramid. Actually, it should be considered as the topmost evidence beyond the evidence pyramid. It's not shown in the traditional pyramid, but ideally if we were to make the best study design pyramid, we would put the umbrella research on the top. So umbrella research is actually a kind of review article, but it's a review article in which we don't combine clinical trials together and write a review. Let me explain what I mean. So when we do a clinical trial, we do an empirical study, right? In a lab or at a hospital or at a rehab or clinical setting, right? We have a patient, we give him a medication, that's an empirical evidence. But in systematic reviews and review articles like meta-analyses, we don't do this. We will combine so many clinical trial studies that were published before and write one paper out of it. That will be a systematic review of clinical trials or meta-analysis of clinical trials. We may also conduct a systematic review of just observational studies. We may also conduct a systematic review of only animal studies. And we, we may also conduct a systematic review of mixed studies. We will have clinical trials and certain meta-analyses, certain systematic reviews, in vitro studies combined together and we can have a mixed study design. And the same goes for meta-analysis. We can have a mixed study design or we can have specific study design of meta-analysis of only clinical trials. But umbrella review, umbrella research is a review article which is written by combining data of only review articles. Yes, look at the top of the study design pyramid. As you can see that on the top we have review articles so in Umbrella Review, we will only include these review articles and write a paper out of it. We will conduct this study. So that's what an Umbrella Review is all about. So Umbrella Review can be of systematic reviews only, or Umbrella Review can be of meta-analysis only, or Umbrella Review can only be of traditional reviews only. However, one thing is for sure that Umbrella Review will only contain review articles. Now, another important thing about Umbrella Review is that the, the meta-analysis or the review article, systematic reviews you have included should contain multiple interventions. You will have a patient population. You will have multiple interventions. In some studies, there will be a medication. In some studies, there will be a vaccine. Some studies, there will be some instructions given by a researcher. But multiple interventions are a must requirement. Then you write your umbrella review, your umbrella research. Now, why do we do that? What are the benefits? Let's talk about the benefits. We do that so that we can later on create some guidelines for some clinicians, or we can create some new clinical practice methods or methodologies. Yes, that's an added advantage. And it can, of course, increase our knowledge because all evidence, humongous evidence is compiled together in one paper and you can find everything together in one paper. So it saves your time. Now, there are some drawbacks of writing or doing umbrella review, the drawback is that you are only allowed to use review articles as your data. You cannot include any empirical study, no observational study, no animal study, no clinical trial, only review articles. So that's a disadvantage. Another disadvantage is that to do umbrella review, it's a huge responsibility. You must include a team and it will take a lot of time to conduct umbrella, umbrella review and to write an umbrella review. And sometimes you will not be able to find full papers. So you may have to purchase full paper, papers from different databases or you contact some libraries. So it can be a hectic process to conduct 
an umbrella review. So I hope I have answered this question. What is an umbrella review? So I'll repeat again quickly. Umbrella review is also known as umbrella research, and it's actually a review of review articles. It can be an umbrella review of systematic reviews only, or umbrella, or umbrella review of meta-analysis only, or umbrella review of traditional reviews only. But umbrella review will always have review articles. You will all, always have multiple interventions in umbrella review. And there are some advantages, like it can help you in creating certain guidelines, increase your knowledge, gives you more depth of knowledge, and all collective information can be found in one paper. And the drawbacks are that you can only rely on review articles. There could be some amazing, outstanding clinical trials, but you cannot include them. And another disadvantage is that the process of writing and doing this study is very long and slow, and you may need a lot of people to do an umbrella review. So this is all about what is, a, what is an umbrella research or what is an umbrella review. I hope you liked the video. Please write any questions that you may have in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Keep watching.